All right, guys, John Chicken Ship Farms back again. Uh, we're taking a look at the Eagle Claw. Eagle Claw. This is a uh, ready to fish kit with a tackle box, 55 piece. This is actually a little, little under 23. I think it was 22 dollars and some change. We're actually going to be comparing this box with the uh, Plano and this All American here, which is from another one that's got some Eagle Claw and things like that in it, but. Uh, this is Flam Flambeau, I believe, is a tackle box company for this one. But uh, I said this one here was $22 and some change. That one there was $22 and some change. This one here was $33 and, and a, a few pennies. <laughs> like I said, we're going to take a look at this one in this video. And then we'll have, obviously, we'll have one for here and one for here. And then we'll, we'll compare them and it's, tell you what we think. So I said these were all picked up from our local Walmart. Uh, if you like these, we'll have a link in the description. You can go check them out. But let's see what we got. Go ahead and get this opened up. All right, guys, real quick. I'll show you what it says comes in it. It's the Eagle Call Go Fish Extreme Value Tackle Kit. 55 pieces. And there you go. It says it includes, I get the glare off of there, 11 soft plastic baits, 10 bass hooks, 10 small species hooks, sinkers, floats, 5 swizzles, jig heads, a stringer, premium monofilament, something, I'm guessing line, line clipper, fishing license holder, and a tackle box. Here it also says a bonus feature is an outer clam that can be used as a bait bucket. Hmm. Not really sure what they're talking about there. All right, guys. It says, uh, looks like everything's right here in the top. Right there. So all we did was cut the band off and hook this up. I'm guessing this is the, the their bonus piece. I'm guessing, but, you know, we'll see. All right. So, yeah. You've got a little holder here for your fishing license. Pin on yourself. You do get some premium fishing line. That's that's actually pretty neat. I'm actually glad that they put this in there. Uh, this is definitely not enough to put on your reel or anything, but uh, cane pole or something like that. Some type of survival situation. This is perfect. I said it's only 110 yards, but... Uh, first time I've seen some of this in one of these kits. Ah, that's the typical bobber we usually see. Uh, you can see it's just not very well made at all. There's glue marks all over the top of it. Kind of looks like if you hits the water a couple times, it's probably going to fall apart. Top's all crooked. Look at the bottom here. See the plastic hanging out of it there. But, yeah. Does appear that it'll work. How long it'll float, I don't know. But it, like I said, that's generally what we see in these kits. It's not very good. Here's another one. This one's actually a lot better constructed. It look, looks a lot more similar to what we saw in the Plano box. But that's what you get. You get two bobbers. Uh, you get, I believe this is for cutting your line. It's actually nice to have in there. Safely cut your line here instead of biting it. Or uh, nail nail clippers work good for that too. Get a stringer. Definitely not the best stringer I've ever seen, but like I said, this is uh, about the norm anymore. A lot of these will, almost every kid we see comes with one of these little stringers. And some plastic baits. They're all packaged together, everything in one package looks like you got one like a senko style worm looks to be about six six and a half inch and you've got a couple of little swim baits here with a curled tail some smaller yeah it looks like a four inch worm with a curled tail and some white almost like a, a wacky worm or a, a senko there so it's like a finesse worm. And 
this is nice. This is actually something nice to see, especially with worm worm baits, is a couple bullet weights here. And these are some, some better sizes than what we saw on the Plano as far as your you know, having some some decent size weights. This is a nice little assortment right here. All right, All right there, so you've got some weighted jig heads. These are for your swim baits. And uh, it's a not a bad looking setup here, but that's, that's Eagle Claw. Eagle Claw makes some fairly decent stuff. Eagle Claw swivels. Now these are a lot bigger than what came in the, the Plano box there. This is a pretty decent size swivel. We don't use these a lot, but uh, yeah, these are, these are fairly nice. Large swivels. And some real, some real bass hooks. Very nice. Looks like there's assortment in here. I'm going to take a look at that real quick. It looks like there's quite a few different sizes in here. There. Yeah. We got a couple of these. And got some smaller ones. Right there. This is actually something we use for catfish. There's a little offset hook here. There's actually a couple of those in here. There's four of those. Four of those in here. There's three of these. Two of these larger hooks here. And, yep, that's one of the other ones. So there's five of those, sorry. But that's nice. That's nice to get a little assortment like that for multi-species. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. I've only really seen some better hooks assortments out of this box than what we saw in the, the Plano there. And of course, here's some um, just small fish. This is your brim trout. It's not. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, some good little trout hooks in here. There's an offset hook. I haven't seen one like that before. That's pretty neat. This is nice. All right. Well, I said this tackle box. I think is a single tray, but we'll take a look. It has a little storage compartment right here in the top. Nice and deep. Uh, you probably fit a small fillet knife and some other tools in here. It's pretty nice. This is a flambeau style box. They've been around for a while too. Take a look at it here. Just single clasp on the front. And it is. Single tray with some dividers here to divide up the top here however you want to do it like i said for 22 dollars this is not a bad little box uh the, the flambeau box is actually definitely you can tell it's a little cheaper box than the plano was but it does have some nice features i, I would like to see a double tray but you know for a small travel kit this is perfect it's all you need uh, I do like the top tray better than the plane. I had the little small trays on the top. This is actually pretty nice. It's nice and deep. You can put quite a bit of stuff up here. Well, I said it's uh, not a bad little kit. I said it's, it's got some nice things in it, especially with the, the line. It's only two bobbers. I said this one. This one doesn't look like it'll last much after a couple of hits in the water. It's probably done. Okay. A little stringer. And some halfway decent looking baits in here. I said this, this kit actually does look like you can get in the water and, and catch fish. Especially, I said, uh, having the multi-species hooks is nice. Not just a few small hooks that are mostly this type of fish the larger swivels that's nice 
better quality here than we saw in the Plano with these weighted jig heads. And this is nice. This is nice to have some actual weights in here. There's only two, but it's nice to have some bullet weights in here, especially if you're uh, fishing for, with uh, worms. Definitely could have done without this, but it's nice to have. This is also neat, too. It's something to cut your line with, especially for kids. You know, you don't want them biting on the line and stuff like we did. That's why none of our teeth work. And this is their their bait tray or whatever. I said, guys, nice little kit for, you know, $22. Uh, something to keep in a car, something to throw in a camper, something to... Uh, you, you forgot your stuff at home and you need something really quick to get fishing. This will do it. I said it's got some stuff in here to, to go after a lot of different things. You just need to pick up a few things while you're at the, the store to go with it. But uh, these little baits here will get, get you started. I mean, there's some, there's some stuff in here that I think will catch some fish. We'll definitely try them out and see. But I said the quality of the, the hooks and things like that is not the... The cheap, no-name stuff that you usually see in some of these boxes. This is actually some pretty good stuff. So, not bad. I would like to see better bobbers than, than that. Uh, but no, not a bad little kit. Definitely will get you going for not a lot of money. Take a look. I said the, the boxes. Um, I said it's not the highest quality box. You see the top is a little... A little loose right here but not a bad little box still especially for the money will definitely get you going got some halfway decent tackle on it too all right guys well we appreciate it and hopefully you check out our other videos when we put all these three together thank you